we can actually download this table offline and view it on our computer. If I click on download, there is a couple different formats available for me to download this data. Let's take a look at the regular Microsoft Excel table layout. We can see that the data that's displayed in Excel is not a one-to-one -one match with what's displayed in the DHIS2 pivot table application. In the DHIS2 pivot table application, the gender and HIV service were stacked upon one another. Here they are flattened out to appear as the column headings. Other than this, this is an accurate representation of what's being displayed in the DHIS2 pivot table. Back in the DHIS2 pivot table application, we can see that the organization unit hierarchy only displays the facility name. But what if we want an understanding of what regions and districts these facilities belong to? If we click on Options, we can add in the hierarchy. This will show the district names and region names for each facility. Now we can see, after I update, the region and district names for each facility. They currently all belong to the same column. So if I were to say, download this, as an Excel file once again, you can see that the organization units actually appear in just one single column. This might not be ideal for a number of different reasons, especially if we want to dissect the data a little bit more. Let's go back to the DHIS2 pivot table application. After I've added the hierarchy and I click on download, we can see that there's an option to download this as a plain data source with the hierarchy. Plain data sources look a bit different from a regular table layout. We can see each dimension is arranged as a column within the table. These types of plain data sources are quite useful to bring in to other applications. CSV files, for example, could easily be brought in to another statistical software of your choice. With the organization units being separated into different columns, we could also, for example, create a pivot table offline. We can add in each level of the organization unit. And we can add in the different disaggregated values as well. So there are actually some different ways to take the data and manipulate it offline within DHIS2. So this wraps up the pivot table session.